very quick anatomy lesson here for a fantasy wall hanger sword. These things are a dime a dozen. Um, thing they have in common though is extremely poor construction. Uh, stainless steel designed to be hung on the wall and left on the wall. They look fairly cheap, they are cheap, and they almost all have these rattly, awful sort of fittings um, with really like loose, cheap, nasty sort of const uh, construction. That thing there's going to come apart any second now. You try swinging one of these things, you're asking for trouble. Let's see why. Just pop this thing off here. There's a little tiny little nut. Unscrew the nut. And yep. Voila. That's what you call a rat tail tang. It's a weld. Bit of threaded metal. Um, it has zero strength in this. I could snap that thing with my fingers there. It's bent already. Look at that. That's how bad it is. Now if you want to try and swing one of these things around think again it is not going to work try cutting with it and it's just going to break straight out I don't even want to go there and do that um, hang them on the wall leave them on the wall you really want to swing one of these things sharp looks like a sword yeah it may not happen every time but if it happens once... The scary thing is, is that this sword is sharp enough to do some damage. Okay? Without too much trouble. But with this kind of thing going on at the hilt, Rat tail tang, um, very square shoulders. You got some problems. There are better fantasy swords out there. Some of them are functional, others are not functional, but better quality, such as this one here by United Cutlery. Um, very attractive looking. It's a lot sturdier, it doesn't have the whole shakiness sort of thing going on. Still, not for cutting, not really for swinging either. Um, it's got a better better handle going on in there as we'll see later um, but seriously much better quality around about a hundred bucks compared to 20 for the other ones but it's worth it, it is seriously worth it these are very attractive swords and if that's the purpose of your fantasy sword then get one of these don't waste money on the cheapies they're just they're seriously not worth it not at all